structural organization in animals so here you have to study about animal tissues and you can skip you should be skipping earthworm but cover frog and cockroach but when you are studying frog and cockroach you will have some doubt you will find it difficult so what is my suggestion is to understand about the digestion excretion and everything about frog and cockroach it is better to revise life processes of class 10th standard hi hello how are you my dear students i hope you all are keeping great today your vr ma'am your vindhya ma'am have come up with very important video for all of you many of my students were asking continuously in the different videos in the comment section in instagram telegram that ma'am what concept i have to study and not to study from old and new ncert and what extra concepts i have to study from uh, you know study for uh, you know for the different chapters for neat 2025 so that is why i have that is why i have come up with very important video for all of you that is what to study for neat 2025 that is changes that you should be making in your neat preparation changes that you have to make in your ncert biology when you are studying for your neat exam so let's get started without wasting much time so let's get started with the very first chapter of class 11 standard that is the first chapter uh, the living world so if you are using new ncert make sure you study a small paragraph called as what is living from old ncert if in case if you are referring if you are studying from old ncert then please do skip taxonomical aids uh, which includes ski uh, what is that museum national parks all of these things okay so that is about the first chapter next chapter biological classification if you are using new ncert well and good if you are using old ncert make a note that the name of virus is being coined by is being given by m w bejer nick so this is the uh, changes that you have to make in your old ncert which has been given in new ncert next coming to the next chapter that is plant kingdom so uh, uh, if you consider new ncert a concept called as alternation of generation is been removed but it is better to study from more old ncert for your better understanding about alternation of generation because you are you will be studying gametogenesis porogenesis so for the better understanding of these concepts is important to study alternation of generation from old ncert and then from animal kingdom if you are studying animal kingdom you can use any of the ncert because it's same both in old as well as new ncert and the next that is uh, if you consider the next unit structural organization in animals and plants morphology of flowering plants have got major changes definitely use new ncert but along with studying new ncert study some of the concepts like different families now what families what plant families i have to study ma'am listen to me carefully you have to study plant families like malvaceae uh, you have to study cruciferae and graminae compositae and leguminosae so these five families you are supposed to study and then root stem leaf modification also you are supposed to study and uh, whatever practical uh, part that is something will be taught in practicals right so whatever comes under practicals under this chapter that also you need to study anatomy of flowering plants definitely use new ncert along with which study tissues study about tissues and a bit of secondary growth you can have a look on and then structural organization in animals so here you have to study about animal tissues and you can skip you should be skipping earthworm but cover frog and cockroach but when you are studying frog and cockroach you will have some doubt you will find it difficult so what is my suggestion is to understand about the digestion excretion and everything about frog and cockroach it is better to revise life processes of class 10th standard see usually students need not do this but since from 2024 digestion absorption chapter has been deleted you won't have idea about digestion absorption so that is why um, it is better to refer life processes of class 10 standard which includes digestion absorption uh, and it will include about excretion transportation everything it is including it, it it has got so which will be helping you to understand these frog and cockroach anatomy morphology and everything better okay and next cell the unit of life you can use any of your ncert bio molecules any ncert you can use cell cycle and cell division once again any of the ncert so this all comes under cell structure and function unit 
Next, plant physiology. Here you can completely skip transport in plants, but my suggestion is also study active and passive transportation for the better understanding of this concept, which will be helping you in other chapter. For example, when it comes to excretory products and elimination chapter, you will be, uh, you will realize, you will get to know that. Uh, in loop of Henley, uh, what is that? Salt, sodium uh, uh, chloride will be actively, some part will be showing active transportation, some part will show passive transportation. So for the better understanding, study active and passive transportation uh, under transport in plants for the understanding of other chapters and concepts. Mineral, nut mineral nutrition, completely you can skip. Photosynthesis in higher plants you can skip, but uh, have a look on CAM and uh, photorespiration pathway because questions will be coming from this pathway. However, in this chapter, they will be explaining everything. But if you have a look on pathway and study, it is going to be easier for you. Respiration in plants, any NCRT you can use. Plant growth and development, any NCRT you can use. And then digestion absorption, of course, you have to skip it. But instead of this, you have to study uh, life process of pre processes of class 10 standard, revise this particular chapter for the better understanding of digestion, excretion and everything. Okay, next, breathing and exchange of gases, any NCRT you can refer, body fluids and circulation, any NCRT you can refer, excretory products and elimination, any NCRT you can refer and locomotion and movement along with the, any of the NCRT, you also have to study the practical part of this particular chapter, which has been given in the practical book. And then neural control and coordination. If you are using old NCRT, skip eyes, ear and uh, reflex arc, reflex action. But if you're using new NCRT, still that's fine. But if you're not able to understand this particular chapter and the upcoming chapter, study control and coordination from class 10 standard, which also include um, control and coordination in plants as well, which will be helping you for other chapters. And chemical coordination integration, same, uh, any of the NCRT you can use. And coming to class 12 standard chapters, the first chapter reproduction in organism is completely deleted. But however, study this chapter for the understanding of other chapters. A sexual sexual reproduction it includes so study those parts estrus cycle they have mentioned in this chapter cara and marcantia diagram uh, you need to study which is there in plant kingdom chapter right then sexual reproduction in flowering plants human reproduction you can use any of the ncrt to study these two chapters similarly reproductive health and principle of inheritance and variation to, to study these chapters as well you can use any of the ncrt because it's same Molecular basis of inheritance also any of NCRT, but evolution along with studying old or new NCRT, study an extra concept called as modern synthetic theory of evolution, which has been mentioned in NTA syllabus, which includes the neo-Darwinism. It's a combination of different uh, theories. Okay. And then human health and disease, any of NCRT, any of the NCRT you can use, but you have to study dengue and chikungunya. How does it spread? Um, and what type of disease is this? And what is the major important symptom? That's it. Strategies of enhancement in food production is completely deleted. But some concept under this chapter has been added in biotechnology principles and processes like SCP, that is single cell protein, green revolution. So these all concepts are being added in biotechnology principles and processes. So if you are using old NCRT, make sure you will be studying these concepts from this chapter but however i suggest you to study uh, biotechnology uh, chapter from the new ncrt itself not old okay and then microbes in human uh, welfare ncrt any of the ncrt you can use biotechnology principles and processes please study from new ncrt because a lot of changes uh, has happened in new ncrt a lot of extra paragraphs one two pages have been added not just a paragraph a lot of pages have been added organisms and population if you are studying from new ncrt from old ncrt study this small paragraph called as organism and environment and coming to ecosystem under this yeah of course you can use any of the ncrt but make sure you skip ecological succession and nutrient cycle if you are studying from old ncrt this is not needed and then we have got the chapter biodiversity and conservation full ncrt any of the ncrt environmental issues is fully deleted good for you so these are the chapters these are the concepts that you have to cover and coming to something again important that is my dear students in the starting of the unit 
in ncert they have given the scientist name so better to go through about the scientist his or her major contribution okay for example swami nathan uh, in the in the same page they have given who is called as father of green revolution of world who is the father of green revolution of india that is swami nathan himself so these things you should be knowing so that is all for today i hope this video is helpful let's meet in the next class next video until then bye bye